Okay, I just want to say a few words about assessment days. Now, oh, these are dreaded things because they're not in any way applicable to real life situations. A whole bunch of you in a room but with a whole bunch of observers? No, I'm afraid, frankly speaking, they're a way of interviewers cramming in a lot of people and seeing more people than they'd normally be able to see in a day. Now, I've got three things to say that might help you though. Firstly, when you enter the room or as you're waiting outside, make sure that you introduce yourself to all the other people in there. So they know you, they know your name, you know their name. You just kind of introduce yourself as a good egg, somebody good to know, okay? Because everyone's going to be dead nervous. So try and reduce everybody's nerves. That's the first thing. Second thing is, please, please, please do not try and dominate all the mixed assessment. When you're all around a table and you're given a task and you've got to report back, don't be the person who talks all the time. If you are the leader, make sure you do it in a collegiate way. But don't try and dominate the day, right? That's a certain way of not being hired. Thirdly, equally as important, don't be too passive either, right? Don't be the shrinking violet at the edge of the table, the conference table there, where you're not saying a word to anybody. So you've got to kind of walk a very funny line. You've got to be not too aggressive, not too passive. You've got to be a team person. You've got to be collegiate. You've got to lead when it's appropriate, not when it's not. It's, oh, it's a real nightmare, assessment days. But listen, everyone's in the same situation. At least if you remember those three things, that's a good start, okay? Good luck.